All right. Um, before we get into the game show part, we have some administrative work to cover here. So, oh god. Um, at the end of the last episode, we were talking about game of the or the game awards and how we were all going to make our predictions, and that would determine who the champion was. Well, oh, uh, you guys aren't supposed to see that. Uh, <gasps> the only people to fill out the sheet, memorize it. The only people to show, fill out the sheet were Matt and I. And <laughs> if you look at the score, the final tally at the end, I got thirteen, and Matt got seven. Therefore, because I went with Spider Man all over the place. <laughs> therefore, yeah, I didn't win like anything. Your new <laughs> champion is me. <laughs> and so, yeah, for the first time, I get the belt. And um, this is a bit of a problem because I'm also the one who makes the games. So we are going to have well, you to... You shouldn't be so smart, Jet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You've smarted yourself into a problem, Jet. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So uh, the way this is going to work, and I don't know if this is going to be a forever thing or a just for now thing. Um, clearly, it is not fair if I participate myself. Uh, so I will have someone play on my behalf. Oh, uh, is guys, it Snorlax? Uh, um, no. Uh. Um, it's a. It's. How do I describe this particular person? <clears throat> um, it's it's a a legend in game design. You have probably prayed to this person on numerous occasions. Uh, the person that will be representing me in this game show is the one. Is it the only? Can I guess? It's Orange Jesus. Oh, <laughs> excellent. Orange Jesus. My so, God. as you can see, uh, all of you guys have your letter counters like this that I control. And Randy says, oh, you don't have to call me a legend. <laughs> wow. No, it's not you. The way wow. this works is that. Close, Randy. Close. Orange Jesus is t- is tied to a random letter generator. So each time he answers, <laughs> it's something different. All right? So it's a random oh, answer God. each time. So okay. do not let Orange Jesus beat you guys. I was going to say, <laughs> Orange Jesus, we're just off the show, right? Like, yeah. it's done? Definitely. <laughs> you are replaced. Yeah. And so the oh, game gosh. that you will be competing against Orange Jesus in is... Uh-oh, do I have that button? Did I put that? I don't think I put that button on the, the stream deck here. Uh, No, I didn't. All right. I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Uh-huh. We are playing. Oh. Oh, no. Wait. What is the? You guys can see the name there. It's the Game Awards 2017, 2014 and 2017. And Yay. Oh, That's a long game why. show name. It's on. Yeah. Hold on. There it is. Hey! 2014 there it is. Hey. 2017. So the way this game is going to work is that there are eight questions based on the past nominees and winners from 2014 to 2017. Select the winner. You get a point. Final questions were three points, and the player with the most points wins. And uh, I don't know what the tiebreaker is, so please don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do my best to do a tiebreaker. All yeah. right. And so, are you guys ready? We are. Let's do it. Sure. And Go. Oh, uh, Jenna says zoomed out. The orange Jesus die looks like a sloth. He does kind of. He does. Look like a sloth. <laughs> yes, I can see it. I can see it. Yeah. Uh, all right, here we go. This is from last year. Best fighting game 2017 was it A. Arms, B. Injustice 2, C. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, D. Nidhogg, or E. Tekken 7. I I have a I have a weird feeling it's injustice too. Okay. No, that's that can't be. Mm, I just remember hearing a lot about injustice. Yeah. Um. I think I'm also gonna pick injustice too. Okay. Matt, that's like actually it? what I was going for as well. So okay. injustice. Injustice too. Well, it's need hog too, guys. So get over it. <laughs> I really hope. Hog is like a fencing game. Yep. It's it's kind of like a fighting game, I guess. Yeah. Also, for those in the chat, don't cheat. I know these are easy to Google. Don't do it. <laughs> All right, and I'm, tr- I'm trying not to look at the chat. R and Jesus says, D. Second <laughs> seven. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. <laughs> hey, Tekken Seven's pretty good. Tekken Seven's amazing. Yeah. From what I have heard and seen, I think the graphics in Tekken Seven look phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, they're good. They're good. All right. 
the winner of best fighting game 2017 was Injustice 2. Yes. Yay. Congratulations. Matt gets a point. Jason gets a point. John gets a point. RM Jesus Ooh. does not. Woo. Oh. We're just furthering your uh, tiebreaker uh, problem yeah. there, Jet. Yeah. All right. <laughs> We're all going to tie. Best family game 2017. Was it A, Splatoon 2, B, Sonic Mania, C, Mario Odyssey, D, Mario Kart, that should be 8, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or E, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle? Family hmm. game? As in... As in family. Rated game? Or games that a family can play together? Well, they're all all of those things. But these are um these are this is the category from the actual game, right? Like from the actual game awards. These are the actual right? game award oh, okay, and okay. winners. So um, what won I, last year in this category? I'm gonna say Super Mario. I'm gonna say Super Mario Odyssey. Super. Yeah, me too. Me too. Oh, guys, <laughs> I know. Well, we know good I'm, games. I'm trying to pick the winner. <laughs> it's either that or Mario Kart, but I don't know. Uh, just to be different, I'm gonna go A Splatoon. A Splatoon 2. Um, family game? <clears throat> Randy says, see Mario Odyssey. I don't really consider it a family game, though. Uh-huh. Also, R- R.N. Jesus says, A, Splatoon 2. Ooh, spl- agrees with Matt. <laughs> Jenna, says I mean, it could it, be. Jenna says, if it wasn't Odyssey, then that's a shame. Jenna's right. right. That's a fantastic game. Winner is <clears throat> Super Mario uh... Odyssey. Hmm. I feel like you took one for the team there, Matt. Matt yeah, does not yeah. get a point, and Orange Jesus does not get a point as well. Sloth. We can, uh, I'm going to high-five John. <laughs> oh, Yeah, wait. Hold on. Wait, hold on the other side. There it is. Uh, yeah. There yeah, it is. Yeah. There yeah. It goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. All right. I felt it in my heart, man. Jason yeah, presents Best Indie Game 2016. Was it A, Jesus. The Witness, B, Hyper Light Drifter, C, Firewatch, D, Stardew Valley, or E, Inside? Uh, this is really strange because I've played yeah. I've played three of these. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Man, I played uh, three of them too. I played Witness, Firewatch, and Stardew Valley, and Inside. They, I played four of them to be honest. Stardew Valley wasn't that created literally by one dude? Yeah, one guy. Uh, and I enjoyed Firewatch too, though. I'm gonna say you know what? I'm gonna say Firewatch. I don't know what it is. I okay. Or Stardew Valley. Oh, what? Mm. Firewatch. Final answer. Firewatch, final, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say Stardew. Yeah, see, Ugh. yeah, I know, think... like Inside's really good too. So. Yeah, Inside was good. I've heard really good things about The Witness. So, I don't know. yeah, I'm gonna say Stardew. Stardew yeah, Valley. Stardew. Stardew for the win. Ah. Okay, and Arn Jesus is going to say D. Stardew Valley. Everyone Ooh. in the chat is also saying Stardew Valley. Oh no, it's gonna be Firewatch. The winner was. <laughs> Inside. Inside. No, oh, no one I, gets the I point. I can see why, though. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that was good. That was a good one. I never actually beat that game. I haven't either, actually. Yeah. Played a lot of it, but I never finished uh-huh. it. Mm-hmm. I, Which I, game? Inside. Yeah. Inside. I've never even heard of it. <laughs> it's kind of like the pseudo sequel to Limbo. Same company. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like Limbo. It's okay. Very yeah. dark and it's nice. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Complete side note, going back to Celeste, I, I saw the it, something in the, the video I was running. Is Celeste the best video game about Canada? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about uh, NHL 94 or whatever? <laughs> I, I mean, that, that has America stuff too, but I think Celeste <laughs> might be the best video game set in Canada. I don't know. The, the Terrence and Phillips section of Stick of Truth is pretty, <laughs> pretty epic. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty... Yeah, uh. All right. Yeah, let's give it to we'll give it to Slash Chat. All right. Great. <laughs> wow. Here we go. Going back in time. Best music and sound design of 2016. Was it A Ooh. Doom? B Battlefield One. C Inside. D <laughs> Res Infinite or E Thumper. Damn it. Inside soundtrack was interesting, but I don't I don't know if it's the best sound design. <laughs> yeah. Uh I think I am gonna go with Doom. I I'm gonna go with Battlefield One. Uh oh, that's true. Uh, that's true. Mass Effect Three started in Canada, mm. and Scott oh, Pilgrim is in Toronto. Out. That's, that's true. true too. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say, actually, I'm gonna go D. Res Infinite. Okay. Do you even know what that is, man? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, Randy says Doom, and Jenna says D because the title sounds nice. All right, Thanks, Jenna. <laughs> the winner. Uh, oh, R and Jesus has so the answer. R and Jesus. What do you say? He's going a Doom. Okay. Doom. Winner is Doom. Oh yeah. Oh, All go. right. Oh man, that game is a nonstop metal soundtrack. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It is Turn so it good. <laughs> the music yeah, is so yeah. good in that game. Mm. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cool. R and cool. Jesus gets a point. And Jason gets a point. Yes. Uh, you and R and Jesus are tied. Is R and Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> this belt is coming to America. We're doing one, it. one of you can actually think, too. Just remember that. I know. I know. Yeah. Also, R and, R and Jesus. Is... <laughs> oh, I don't have the belt graphic in this layout. Oh, yeah, I do. Wait. Where... Oh, I know why. Hold on. Quick fix here. Oh, what am I doing? I think I just broke something. The chat uh -oh. looks weird now. That's bad. Huh? Yeah, the oh. chat went dark. Oh. Um, there's the belt. And where is the chat? Um Okay, there. Chat's fixed. Belt's hey. out. Alright. Hey. Hey. So I've updated the score, right? You should put the belt around. Uh, yeah, you, you did. Jesus. Okay. And we can clear this. And yeah, Orange Jesus should be wearing the belt. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Okay. God. Best action adventure game of 2015. Was it A, Rise of the Tomb Raider, B, Ooh. Ori and the Blind Forest, C, Batman? I, I don't think it was Batman Arkham Asylum. It should be probably yeah. the newest one at the time. Was it Arkham Knight? Yeah. Arkham, Arkham uh, yeah. Knight. Yeah. D, Metal Gear Solid V, or E, Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Oh, man. Uh... I'm going to go with Rise of the Tomb Raider. Wait, who is that, John? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is A. I think I'll go with uh, D, Metal Gear Solid Five. All right. Ooh, yeah, that's good, too. Well, Syndicate's like the worst Assassin's Creed game. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> oh. it could be Syndicate. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to do D as well. Metal Gear Solid. Okay. And Here's Orange, the comeback, boys. Orange Jesus says D, Metal Gear Solid 5. Oh, man. All right. He's if Orange Jesus catches up to me. <laughs> Winner is Metal Gear Solid 5. Yes. <laughs> uh, this is great. Okay. Yeah, man, wait, I still have the same amount of points as Orange Jesus. <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jason also gets a point. Woo. There it is. There we so go. There we go. Right away with this, man. All right. I like it. Next one. Best shooter 2015. Was it Black oh. Ops 3, Destiny the Taken King, Splatoon, Halo 5, or Star Wars Battlefront? Ooh. Mm. Well, Black Battlefront Ops. 2 would not have won, so. <laughs> I'm going Black Ops 3. Oh, man. Um, Battlefront. No, 2015. Oh. This is tough. I know. I think. I'm gonna I'm gonna say Splatoon. Let me go see. A shooter, eh? Um, you know what? Let's let's go. I'll go Star Wars Battlefront E. Oh man. Uh, oh, Randy wire. says Blops. Jenna says Star Wars Battlefront. And Orange Jesus says Call of Duty Black Ops Three. Winner. Orange Jesus, that? right? Oh God. Oh, God. Splatoon. Oh, yeah. Wow. Jason wow. gets the point. <laughs> oh man. I feel like I remember that winning. I was like, yeah, that was a, such a surprise. Oh, man. That's good. It, is a, it is quite a fun game, too. Oh, man. Yeah, yes. Splatoon is great. Launched a new franchise. Yeah. <clears throat> I played it on the Wii U. This is the second last question. Uh, Randy says, what? Yeah, Splatoon won best shooter of the year that year. Tough yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Death> competition. Yeah. <laughs> best narrative 2014. I believe this is the penultimate question. Uh, was it Valiant Hearts? South Park, The Walking Dead Season 2, The Wolf Among Us, or Wolfenstein? I absolutely loved Valiant Hearts. I'm going A. Huh. Yeah, Valiant Hearts is pretty good, but I don't... Valiant Hearts was an amazing story. But I don't think it beat these guys. But it's best I mean, narrative. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's my answer. I'm sticking to it. I don't know. It can't be Walking Dead. That one wasn't that good. No, that season wasn't the good one. Uh, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say South Park, Sick of Truth. All right. 
Such a good game. I'm going to say Wolfenstein. New Order. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. Arn Jesus says, B, South Park Stick of Truth. Okay, Matt, you realize Arm oh, Jesus man. is probably going to be better than you right now. <laughs> I love I thought Stick of Truth is fantastic. I just don't know if, I mean, oh, maybe. Who knows? Matt, yeah, look who yeah. picked it. Look who picked it. Arn Jesus picked it. <laughs> true. Point. He's wearing the belt right now. Yeah, that's true. Winner is. Valiant Hearts hey! the Great War. Oh, wow, John yeah. gets the point. I, I honestly I've... went for my heart. I like that game. I'm like, that's a good story. That should have won, so that's why I guessed it. I am not gonna lie. I don't. I don't know what that game is at all. It's all about war. I think it's World War II. Is it not, Matt? It's yeah, like a cartoon World War II, like uh, side scroller kind of. Uh, yeah. You have to keep doing certain objectives to get through. Uh, you know, like doors and things, and you meet certain people and have to help people and repair things and yeah. fix tires on car. It's very, uh, um, it's really kind of busy work, but the story is what you're 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 doing it for, and yeah. uh, it's phenomenal. The story just alone, I would recommend just to play through the game. Cool, cool. All right. Final question: Everyone is still in the game. Oh, oh. R and Jesus could tie Jason. Matt could tie Jason. <laughs> John could win it. <laughs> Correct answer is worth three points. <laughs> I hope Iron Jesus wins. I hope I just uh, tie Jason so Jed's worst case scenario comes true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And what Jed and was, Matt need to, need to right. What was the game of the year in 2014? Was it Bayonetta 2, Dark Souls 2, Hearthstone, Dragon Age, or Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor? Oh, oh shoot. I went with this one specifically because 2014 is a really weird crop of Game of the Year contenders. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Oh, man. Um, uh, uh, Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm going to go D, Dragon Age. Oh, man, I, li- I like that game. I thought it was great. I know. You know I'm, yeah, I I think either Middle Earth or Dragon Age, to be honest. That's what I'm thinking too. Um, Don't forget, guys, Splatoon won Best Shooter. <laughs> that should be Game of the Year. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna oh go with God. D too. I think I I just I'm gonna go with D. I'm I've been leaning towards Middle Earth, so I'm gonna go with E. And Arn Jesus says. I hope he says D. And it's D. No, Dark Souls, Dark Souls too. <laughs> All right, Jesus. game of the year 2014 was, and this is for the win. Dragon Age Inquisition. No! <laughs> oh, my God. Matt gets three. John so gets Jay and three. I tied. Yeah, you can put it right around. Oh, John won. John <laughs> wins. Congratulations. Oh, oh my God. Yep, there it is. Congratulations, John. <laughs> you get the belt back. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, oh, that ended up being really close. Christmas That's good. So close. Oh, you see my Christmas tree? Oh, Wicked. nice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, it's Christmas That's time. One great. of these days, I'm yeah. going to win that belt. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, man, you were on a roll, too. You were up. No, I got yeah. Splatoon and everything. I thought today was your day. Wow, just rub it in my face. I see how it is. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess you just go back to playing that Fallout 76, I guess. Oh, hey, you were. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to <laughs> All right, well, um, let's say goodbye to R and Jesus. Thank you for dropping by. Thanks, R and Jesus. Better luck next time. <laughs> yeah. But until then. Um, he needs to bone up on his gaming knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Until then, um, I think it's time to end the show. Uh, before we go, is there anything you want to plug, Matt? Uh, so I just did an article for uh, – we're doing a gift guide on Biff Band Pop, so holiday gift guides. Every day they release something and kind of like lead you to getting a gift for somebody or introducing you to new things. Um, so I did an article on this company called FanFit Gaming who does uh, a bunch of gaming merchandise, a lot of retro console stuff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so mugs and flasks and you know sure. Christmas ornaments and all kinds of stuff. So actually I have the uh, – it's upstairs. I can't really oh. bring it down. But um, yeah, that's up on Biff Band Pop. Uh, I did a review of the second D- of three DLCs for Spider-Man. That is up as well. And uh, the third one's coming sometime before the end of this month, I believe. So that should be up as well. Um, 
and I've also got a review of, oh my god, Siberia 3 for okay, the Switch. Know. Spoilers. It's not very good. <laughs> but they made three of them. Yeah, they should have stopped at zero. <laughs> oh, wow. That should be your tag for the review. They should have yeah. stopped yeah. at zero. <laughs> yeah. Actually, one wasn't that bad, but two okay. and Siberia three, three. three. Three too many. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, god. yeah, that's it for me. Okay. How about you, Jason? Um, I've, I'm in the middle of an article about 76. I'm just uh, finishing up some a little bit there. But I've been focusing a bit more on uh, downstab.com, the Instagram, trying to get that as a thing. Also linked it to a new downstab Facebook page. I'm trying to start too. Hey. Um, but just, you know, whatever. Um, now, without my computer, I can't really stream anything else. So that kind of sucks. Mm. But just playing here and there. Uh, I anticipate playing a little bit more Smash. So I'll probably, hopefully, get on my chat at some point and uh, stream some of that. Oh, also the Overwatch stuff came out, so I got to play Overwatch. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> You'll stream that soon for sure. And John, mm-hmm. anything you want to shout out or plug? Not much, not okay. much on my end. Um, okay. But I did wanted to, I did want to say I did. Uh, you know, having received your 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 annual Christmas card, Jet, um, I just wanted <laughs> to thank annual. you again for having yeah, yeah. first annual Christmas card. Yeah, which yeah. Uh, oh, you don't want to. I don't want to ruin the surprise. Yeah, don't ruin it. Don't yeah. ruin it. Getting Christmas card. Um, was that? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. What? But yeah, don't show them. Don't show them. No, I just wanted to uh, to say thanks again for having us uh, be a part of your uh, of your uh, gaming marathon there because it was a blast, and yeah. I'm glad yeah. you you raised a lot of money. And that's, uh, or I guess we, uh, yeah, we as a team helped raise money, and yeah. uh, it was a lot of fun. So yeah, I just want to say you reminded me of it. So I just wanted to say uh, thanks again, and that was a lot oh. of fun. So yeah, thank Sweet. you guys for all helping out with that, and thank you for being a part of this whole crazy experience that has become boss rush um it's been uh, it's, it's the highlight of my streaming life putting together the show and being able to chat with uh, you guys about this especially since like we did the podcast before and i love that and i really miss talking to you guys when that uh, show ended so i'm really glad that we can do this again and we talked how long have we actually been doing this for Jack? <laughs> sorry how long have we actually been doing this for since the beginning of recurring boss cast I mean, I would say it's probably legit six years because, I mean, that's when Jet friended me was after we started BossCast. Uh, oh, that's right. It's also a yeah. milestone today, isn't it? Today. Yeah. It's our six-year six. Facebook friend anniversary. <laughs> friend anniversary. Um, we'll, we'll yeah, Boss, or, BossCast went for like a bit over a year, and then mm-hmm. there was a really long break, and then we mm-hmm. started this with the untitled video game show into Boss Rush. So we've done like 14 episodes this year. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, that's kind of a lot. Yeah. It's good. Getting there. Yeah, it's fun. There. And we'll be back next year announcing, formally announcing our games of the year. Hopefully Chris and Rachel are able to join us as well. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Um, that's my Christmas wish is to meet them eventually. <laughs> so okay. Hope we can make that happen. Yeah. Yes. I'll, I'll clip that last bit out and send it to them yeah. and we'll see what Such happens. <laughs> They're pretty cool, cool people, I must say. Mm-hmm. All right, I think it's time to get out of here, John. I know you have to wake up super early, so yeah, you do what you got to do. <laughs> I haven't fun. I don't mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You want a belt? It was worth it. Yeah, so. yeah I know. Keeping it, keeping it, Wait, keep it, it up yeah. north. Right. All right. That's so painful to watch, by the way, John. Just yes, it was. <laughs> I'm <laughs> taking away my high five. Just take it back. <laughs> and because this is the Uh, last show of 2018 we will yeah i just want to wish you guys like merry christmas happy new year and we will uh regroup in 2019 absolutely man same to you you guys as well man that's awesome all right yep yep take it easy bye guys